answer. I have a bonus for you, a bonus and an intro. It's been a while since I couldn't say that I wasn't a dead end. It's been a while since I couldn't say I love myself as well as. It's been a while since I've gone and fucked things up just like I always do. It's been a while, but all that shit seems to disappear when I'm with I thought of that song, I like it, and that's the one that wanted to come for the bonus for cancer for April, April 2016, and or whenever you find your way watching this, but I was kind of sleepy on your video I did when I did my first run through the Zodiac, and I know that through the videos there's ups and downs of my my moods and my outfits and my props and my makeup and all kinds of stuff. So this is what we have now and I feel like giving cancer a little extra. So if you're here, listen to the psychic and the spiritual side of you. You just Listen to what I say to make it work for you. Interpret it your way for your story. Then look around your surroundings and see what calls to you. Maybe it's that song. Who knows? But I do remember that... I don't usually remember readings very well, by the way. But I do remember that you got the tower, which some people consider intense. Although sometimes ripping weird shit out... Let's brand new awesome stuff in. So towers are not always bad. Sometimes they bring awesome in. Sometimes you need it awesome in your life. And that is a tower of awesome. Oh, we had a couple of flyers. And the star at the top, what flew? Three of coins. Ace of Pentacles star, not a bad start, but we're gonna continue to shuffle. All right, I'm gonna try to get to the point and doing less of the gabbing for Cancer. High Street's good of everybody involved. What does God, our angels that are watching us, our guardian angels, Michael, Gabriel, whoever, all of them, all of them, we can all help us as long as they're there for the highest and greatest good and they're all about the love, right? We need to start uplifting us all. We need to not put dogma on weird parts of us and scary parts of us and awesome parts of us and just go with them all. Learn who we are together and make this world a better damn place. Hallelujah. <laughs> There we go. We're going to make it all work. As long as it's in the name of love. Love, 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 love. Because in the end, it's all about the love. All the stuff we don't take with us. We take the experiences. And we take our awesome moments. And our time with others. And bring that along. And the rest just stays here to rot. So, let's give a little more clarity to Cancer. For the highest, greatest good of all of us So we can have a little more clarity Now that we're not falling asleep And too comfortable as I was Doing that reading But that was good I need, We need comfort once in a while It's important Okay so, One card And then I'll pull one card from another deck This is what 
This is the Medieval Scampini Tarot. Oh, you got the Four of Wands. I told you it was a good tarot. Well, let's look at the other cards. I didn't even pull the other thing, but I told you it was a good tower. This is celebration, like a wedding or like something planned that is awesome. Maybe you're, you are planning it or somebody else is planning it for you. I'm going to put that here. Let's see what we have at the bottom. The hanged man. Are you hanging about making plans? Is somebody else making plans about you when they've been maybe just hanging on those plans for a while, looking at all the perspectives? This could go either way. He could be hanging no more since we have celebration on its way. I'm going to pull from this. Now, now I want to let you know. I spend about 40 minutes searching the internet trying to find the name of this deck. I should know that it should be easier, right? I think I called it the Enchanted in another one, but it's definitely not that. I don't think, I don't think I couldn't find it under that. I bought it as a self-published deck. Should I just show you some of the, let me just show you some of these pictures in here. They're really pretty. They're like old paintings and things that they then put all the symbolism in. I spent a lot of money on it. Probably this is one of those like little presents I bought myself for a birthday one year. I know it was over a hundred dollars. I know that's a lot of money, but I felt like the girl that made it. I do remember it was a woman. I think <laughs> I felt like I, I, I connected to it. I connected. I liked the old paintings and the symbols and I thought they were really beautiful and I appreciated the fact that it must take a lot of time to go through an entire tarot deck and come up with all those symbols and have it mean something and be individual. It's not easy. Not easy to get it published and I wanted to show my gratitude towards that and give myself a birthday present. So, who knew? Who knew? Years later I would actually do this because I never saw myself doing this if you only knew if you only knew just look at me now so let's see what we have to know for cancer do this highest greatest good of everyone i always shuffle these all the time by the way they're always shuffled i just like to show it on camera i'm wasting time sorry one card cancer cancer april highest greatest good of everyone it's your higher self god beings of light and love that we don't even know how to exist we don't even know they exist or what their names are or what they look like or what they do but they can help us if they're if we ask so i'm asking god to help us all oh a little bit here and see what we have to know can't say uh, we've got two they were stuck together cancer has the lovers and Cancer has the Seven of Pentacles. And at the bottom, you've got the Hermit. Okay. So, we've got two characters in this situation, or two major energies of the you in this situation. We have the self-sacrifice taking time to see things in the new perspective that maybe the tower came you know maybe something happened and it made you feel like your whole world was upside down to see so let's start here let's put him down and look at this guy so he's hanging upside down he is thinking about stability, but he's not quite there yet, you know. He's thinking about that stability, and this one he just has a little rope on his foot. There are some grapes here, so there's community of sorts going on around him, bunches of people talking or different situations that he is now not included in at this moment. What do we have going on under him? There's a pretty creek. There's a creek here, 
So he could go into the creek and be cleansed, have the situation cleansed off, babies hanging on, thinking about the creek, thinking about how cold it might be. There is a sacrificial lamb here. And I told you it was a self-sacrifice to be hanging. It's taking time away. Why should why why I should just show you both of these cards? It's taking time away. So either this is you or this is somebody else in your life that has taken time away. To to look at things from a completely different perspective. Maybe you showed up in someone's life and turned them on their heads. Maybe they got swept head over heels for you and they didn't expect that in their life and now they got to look at their whole life differently because your sexy ass just came into it. Or maybe somebody else's sexy ass came into your life and just made you think things different, see things different, and not know exactly what to do. So either way, let's look at him. Oh, well, let's, let's finish. Let's finish with him. I can't hold everything. So the other thing I want to notice or want you to notice is, you know, he looks like me when I'm on my aerial silks a little bit. It is really hard to do the spinning thing. I must say, when you do the spinning thing on the silks too much, you get off and you kind of want to puke and hold onto the ground. So I'm going to assume when he's ready to get off, he's going to be very happy to be on the ground. He might need a bit of a breather. <laughs> Because if he's, he could just be hanging or he could be spinning. We don't know. We don't know. It's a still picture. So you got to picture the Harry Potter movement in it, you know? But there's a sacrifice here. He's purposely on his head for a reason. But there's this awesome creek underneath. And you ever see a creek when the water's clear and you can see all the colored stones and then you see like the trout go by and it kind of looks like the stones, you know? It's kind of amazing. Then he has this, his belly is sticking out, his belly shirt. All his coins are falling out of his freaking pocket. He's been hanging there so long. So maybe it's time that this happens. This water is going to come and cleanse him, make him feel refreshed, feel better. He's now got that stability. He's now able to do a jig with the fancy pants he has and all the time he had to think about his dance moves he totally looks like he's doing one of those like Irish dances or Russian dances or something so he now has stability because of that time he's taken off you know and then you also have this you have the hermit so well, I like to say before I say like you want to make sure you don't stay. If that's you hanging, don't stay there too long because then the blood goes to your head and your money falls out of your pocket and the grapes start growing up around you. You know, the fish are swimming under you and you're just hanging there not involved in anything. So find that stability from seeing the world upside down. However it was changed, change is brought into our world sometimes for a reason so that we get off our ass we untie our rope and we move we move because it looks like you've been working hard with this by the way for a long time you know this is putting time and effort into something hard labor your heart every day going out she gets up she puts on her babushka you know, she goes out with her friend or her sister or her family or her co-workers and she gets her ass out there and even though she has seen no fancy fruits yet and that won't be coming for a while, she's she's a, she's pretty strong for a girl. She's probably like my 92-year-old grandma and will just keep on working forever and that keeps her whole self witty even at 92. You can still be awesome working because it's coming from the heart. So what have you been doing that's coming from the heart? Here we go. You're getting a double bonus. Double bonus for cancer. I'm going to make a part two for you. I'll see you soon.